to a new video. Today's is a really exciting one because today is the day that we're making our special announcement. Stepping on a roller coaster, going down, but I never felt this high. Biggest ride of the century. announcement our biggest secret that we kept like ever i mm. think we, we bought, bought a farm in the in <laughs> <laughs> it's um, been a year in the making so we've been working on this and thinking about it and doing all the things that you need to do for over a year now mm -hmm. i think this is the most exciting thing that's ever happened in my yeah. lifetime i don't know about oh 100 it's been a dream and it's like again we talk a lot about the sort of more gym chart focused stuff don't we mm -hmm. and don't try and keep our sort of personal life quite private and i, yeah. I do really like it that way mm -hmm. but i am really happy to be able to share this with everyone as well. yeah we're honestly so excited it's an absolute dream come true for us both individually and as a couple so we first came to the cotswolds two years ago that, yeah, that was is, the first time we were, were both there which is weird growing up in the west midlands i'd never been here i'd always stayed in and around the sort of birmingham bromsgrove area solihull reddick mm -hmm. that sort of area despite being the countryside around that yeah, yeah i mean it's not i mean we're what we're less than an hour away from where I grew up which is crazy and then um, there was a, a Facebook event came down to the Facebook event and I was messaging Robin like oh my god this is just he beautiful. knew that I would love it so I feel like we've come down every other weekend ever since haven't we yeah pretty much I mean we try to come down here as often as possible if you're not familiar with the Cotswolds the Cotswolds is essentially your idyllic English countryside so when you close your eyes and picture English countryside you'll probably be imagining the Cotswolds quaint English villages and pretty gardens and greenery gorgeous Yellowstone buildings rolling hills just everything that you would imagine if you're thinking about picturesque England yeah it is isn't it like rolling hills yeah you're right sort of that honey honey um colored stone mm -hmm. a lot of stone buildings it's it's, a, it's absolutely gorgeous we both feel so relaxed and at peace here and at mm -hmm. home and just from the first moment that well you were here first mm -hmm. before me and then when we went together i just remember feeling i don't know feeling just a sense of calm so, and it was always something that we wanted to achieve when we go on holiday and things mm. so just the fact that we can live here is an absolute well, dream come true. We was having holidays here wasn't we? Yeah. Especially even Anytime with, I mean, particularly with Covid we've had a holiday mm -hmm. here even before that we was coming here for, for yeah. weekends at a time and having a little break. So. Yeah it's definitely our favourite place to come in the country. Mm, gorgeous. So for like for my side of things it's been my dream to live in the countryside. It's not something I sort of realised until I did a lot of introspection over the last few years when i was younger i since i came from a small town in canada i thought that i would want to live in a big city so i did try living in big cities i lived in toronto for a little bit um and i visited london quite mm -hmm. a bit and then i realized nope that's not for me at all mm -hmm. <laughs> like i like i like visiting london but i i always say no more than a day or two there because it's just too manic for me so yeah it's always been my dream to live in a more secluded area once i realized that about myself i i just like privacy and mm. seclusion and i like the idea of sort of living off the land a little bit and yeah i think we're, we're massively into that aren't we that sort of more organic i guess sustainable lifestyle mm -hmm. i'd love the thought of being able to grow out grow all our own yeah. food and all that sort of stuff having it, a completely it's, sustainable it's living the sort of thing that you just imagine you could do someday but it would yeah. never be within the foreseeable future mm -hmm. and i i kind of anticipated that someday that we would have this sort of yeah. thing but we were thinking more retirement even we're thinking potentially Canada because Canada has just massive amounts of land and nature and it's just so beautiful and I love that about Canada but we just never thought that it would be something again that we could 
have so early in mm. life. Robin obviously grew up in Canada. I grew up in the West Midlands. Part of my family lived closer to the city or in the city. And then the other part of my family on my mom's side are a lot more sort of countryside. So I've sort of been able to grow up with both, albeit on my dad's side. Um, my nan grew up in Wales. I'd spend a lot of time with her in Wales. So I would sort of be in, in between the two. Um, so I've always had an appreciation of living in both. and. Um, I have for a long, long time wanted to live in the countryside. I love the countryside here, and particularly with the job that we do, it's so busy and so manic, and you're traveling a lot, and there's so much going on. When you're not at work, it is nice just to be able to switch off and be in the middle of nowhere, so. I'm referring to notes because I just, I don't know, I knew that I would be nervous. <laughs> because we are here in the UK, it's a dream come true to be able to live this countryside sort of lifestyle, but then still be within an appropriate sort of... We're well, we're well within commutable distance yeah. to get back into Birmingham. Uh, we can and get down to Oxford, get I can work. get into Solly at work, so yeah, it, it's perfect, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, we can have this lifestyle while it's still being practical and functional mm. for Ben, which is obviously like the most important thing for where we live, because mm -hmm. I'm able to live wherever, and mm -hmm. that's always been the thing where you need to live live close to work but even more excitingly so we kind of described the sort of countryside lifestyle that we've always wanted but the Cotswolds in particular is amazing for having so many conveniences all mm. around like you really get the best of both worlds here you have little villages spotted around everywhere and they're all tourist locations so they're very very picturesque beautiful mm. locations and you've got pubs you've got restaurants you've got farm organic farm shops mm -hmm. um all of my favorite things that you would sort of get in bigger cities like LA and stuff you do get that sort of kind of more of a quaint countryside version of that here but you do have the conveniences the antique shops mm. and uh, like the country clothing yeah. shops that we love recently mm -hmm. <laughs> here so you really do get everything it, honestly like i keep saying but it's just a dream come true for yeah. us and you can tell how happy we are mm -hmm. <laughs> but, <laughs> maybe, hopefully we're not coming off too nervous to film because we don't usually well we don't film videos together no we don't we're very private which i think you guys have kind of realized by now but yeah we're just so so excited for this next chapter in our lives we're here in our utv <laughs> which is so cool looking at the view and i'm just overwhelmed with happiness so. yeah it's lovely isn't it it is nice because we've got we've got like a few fields around the house as well so we've got a little bit of space we bought this utv which is like a side by side it's a canam you can mess around with this as well and I, I'm, I'm looking forward to it having the space is just lovely and like you say we'll be able to grow um grow some of our own food which will be great and it's just it's just lovely and private as well yeah sorry for my tears but we feel <laughs> truly truly blessed and grateful to be able to have this and to have this opportunity especially so early in life and mm. we're just it's it's a whole new chapter for us it's it feels like a new beginning yeah. and we're just so so excited for the future and we i can't wait to get to share some of this with you guys so we're still ironing out how i'm going to go about content we still want to be like private with certain things so mm. i'm we're unsure of like what exact things we'll be sharing but there's definitely going to be loads of stuff coming and um we're open to your guys's questions so if you do have any questions then please leave them down below and hopefully we can do another video where we answer some questions yeah. in the future that would be fun sounds great exciting happy? i am well done yeah. love you love you <laughs> i didn't think i would cry but it's just so so beautiful we're looking at our view now and it's just amazing. Yeah, it's proper nice. Stepping on a roller coaster, going down, but I never felt this high. Biggest ride of the century. Are you happy? I am absolutely buzzing, sweetheart. Wanna drop into the ocean, wanna feel like we're the only ones around But I'm lost, you got me clueless Cause you can reach the sky while I'm stuck here on the ground And I'm afraid of how it feels when you're not around strength 
and show me your weakness We're in this together now We're in this together now Give me your love and tell me your secrets Cause we're in this together now Yeah, we're in this together now Oh my god, the bottom of the rainbow is in our field. That's insane. Oh my god, we have a rainbow in our field. We. <gasps> That's when you know that you're truly blessed. When there's a literal rainbow in your field. Oh my god, it's fully here. All of me is yours, every part of me Cause we're in this together now You and me together now